Hey everyone. So today I'm going to show you an incredibly easy way to create stunning UI designs for your low code, no code applications. Let's talk about one of the most challenging aspects of no code application development, and that's creating an appealing user interface for many developers without a design background like myself, creating an attractive and functional UI can feel like navigating a minefield. Recently, I've discovered a game-changing workflow that simplifies UI design for no-code platforms. The process combines two powerful tools, a design inspiration website and an AI-powered design extraction tool. So here's my workflow. We're gonna find the design inspiration through dribble.com. This free website allows you to obtain uploaded images of already made front end UI, like website designs and mobile layouts. From there, we're gonna go ahead and capture the image and create a detailed prompt. Now, this is huge for numerous reasons, but for me, it's really simple. Bolt.new consumes tokens anytime you troubleshoot for an error. So if your prompts aren't tight, uh, you're going to get numerous errors, which equal numerous Boku tokens getting consumed. So once we've captured the images, we're going to go ahead and paste the prompt into bolt.new. I found that design inspiration platforms are treasure troves for UI concepts. And while there are many options, I particularly enjoy browsing design portfolios that showcase innovative um, interface layouts, right? These platforms offer a wealth of creative ideas that can spark your own digital vision. So the real magic happens when the AI tool can transform a screenshot into a comprehensive design prompt. And by uploading a screenshot of an appealing interface, you can instantly generate a detailed design blueprint. So the first step here is we want to go ahead and open a web browser and navigate to dribble.com. So you want to use the search bar to find um, a UI design relevant to your project. So I guess, you know, you can type it in here, but there's a trending search button here. If we click on landing page. Um, we can go ahead and just take a look at all of these pretty pretty i mean these are beautiful cleanly outlined designs here if you're actually trying to search something you can uh, try keywords like dashboard design or mobile app interface or web app ui right so here we want to go ahead uh, we search landing page how about we do landing page uh tech so we can just create one for a tech website i don't know um you know whatever we we're kind of feeling today so uh, we scroll down. I just want to catch something that um, catches the eye here. So let me just kind of look around. All right. So I was thinking a uh, maybe a crypto website would be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and type that in. And uh, right. So this is the first one that pops up. So let's go ahead and click on this. And this looks pretty, I mean, it's pretty modern. It pops, it's got a really cool color scheme. So when you find a design that you like, uh, let's go ahead and take a screenshot of it. So on Windows, uh, obviously use Windows key Shift S or on a Mac, you can use Command Shift F4. And that's what I'm gonna do. And we're gonna go ahead and take a screenshot of that image and it saves uh, to our computer. All right, so once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and open copycoder.ai and we're going to go ahead and upload the uh, screenshot we just saved. We can go ahead and make sure that web applications here in this drop down is selected and then we can click on generate prompt. And here we're just waiting for the AI to analyze the design just takes a few seconds. This is actually where the real magic happens. Um, when the AI tool can transform a screenshot into a comprehensive design prompt like, like this. I mean, this is just ridiculous. So by uploading a screenshot of an appealing interface, you can instantly generate a detailed design blueprint. Uh, this tool breaks down intricate design elements, color palettes, typography, layout structures, all into actionable instructions. So like the benefit of this, it's instant design translation. It's also eliminating the complex prompt engineering. 
which a lot of these errors are uh, you know, spawned out of. We also have quick prototyping capabilities. As we all know, the name of the game with AI is speed. You know, one week your design is the next best thing since sliced pie. The next week it's obsolete and somebody else has uh, created it better, faster, cheaper, or free, right? And then flexible adaptation of your specific project needs, right? So you can see all this detailed information, how it's just broken down, uh, the primary colors, the grid layout, the project structure. Um, all of this is just really cool, incredible stuff here. All right, so once we've uh, clicked on here to copy the initial prompt, we're gonna go ahead and switch over to uh, bolt.new and we're gonna go ahead and create a new project. And in the prompting section here, we're gonna go ahead and uh, type in the following. I am creating the following web application. Um, here are my elements. And then we can go ahead and paste it and submit okay so um perfect so now the magic is happening here and we're watching the ai transform the prompt into a functional ui again i love bolt.new and this is i i want to just keep messing with this this is something just so incredible with the way that um you know the barriers that this brings down with you know people that actually want to start building things but don't have a coding background and this bridges that gap of creativity so uh, people uh, you know if you have a really good idea right you don't have to sit through hours and hours of writing code anymore and uh, you know i know it's, it feels like a cheat it feels like a hack but this is a reality of it this, this is ai right so ai is essentially going to do uh, everything for us and we're just the people that are going to command it that are going to direct it right so what we can do is we can customize the design to fit our specific project needs right so we can adjust the colors uh, modify the layout we can add and remove components here so this is it it went ahead and created what we put there um it looks like we got a potential problem detected so let's just attempt to fix it over here um but yeah, what it did is just it, it pulled what we gave it. And it looks like here it didn't pull the colors, but that's obviously something that we can easily correct. Um, but it did pull out the layout and it got the uh, BTC trading chart. Okay, so now it's uh, improving trading component structure. Okay, so right, it, it, uh, it's having an issue with the, the chart data that it's pulling. So it went ahead and uh, fixed it for us. So again, right, we've got the chart, we've got a quick uh, swap, we've got a little converter here, and then we've got the buttons up here, the join the discord, the get started. Um, you know, all we have to do is just give the, you know, the wallet balance here. So this is really cool. It, it literally just built out a website for us. Um, and you know, obviously like you could put more screenshots in there. Some of the things that I wanted to mention, um, always use multiple design references. Um, don't be afraid to mix and match elements from different designs. So what you want to do is customize the generated design to make it unique to your project. One of my favorite books is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. It was written in 1937, but it's still relevant today. Uh, he talks about the synthetic imagination, which rearranges old ideas into uh, new concepts, which is exactly what we're doing here. We're drawing upon uh, inspiration to create something new, right? To create a new concept, a new design. Um, and I, I just think that it's just so cool. The way AI and tech and this entire direction of, of the world is going right now. Uh, there you have it. Uh, this method takes the complexity out of UI design. Uh, it makes it it makes it accessible to everyone, um, even if you don't have that design background. If you found this tutorial helpful, um, liking the video and subscribing to the channel would be super helpful. And comment below with your favorite design tips. I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking. Um, thank you, and see you in the next video.